And welcome back. This is Beller Skillboy with another StarCraft 2 commentary. This is my opponent in the upcoming match. I kid you not. I don't think it's the real one. This is Liquid TLO. He is 8th in his Platinum Division with 1,406 points, 118 wins, and 101 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the north up against TLO. He did spawn as Terran. He actually picked Terran, so it is not a random TLO. He is the Red Terran in the east. The map is Lost Temple, and he says U22. I don't know what that's about. But he, yeah, there's no way this is TLO. I'm, I'm telling you that right now. Um, TLO, I believe, is a German player. Uh, for those of you that don't follow uh, other StarCraft 2 commentators, TLO is actually a very highly ranked, I believe, number one on the European server ranked player. Uh, he typically goes random, and he's probably the best random player in the world. I don't know if there's a category for that, but he would definitely be top of my list. And... Yeah, it was very, uh, I, w I was nervous at first when I saw that it was going to be Liquid TLO, and then I was like, oh wait, this is probably not the guy, it's probably just a guy that liked the name, and, and decided that's going to be my name too. But the map is Lost Temple, I did mention that before, but it is worth mentioning again, because this is a map that is well known for being imbalanced towards Terran players. I don't know if I agree with that. Protoss players tend to do very well on this map as well. Um, and Zerg players, I would assume, could get that natural very quickly and hold it relatively easily. That is a wide choke, but there are definitely maps that are geared towards Terran more than this map, I believe. And, oh, look at that. I actually queued these guys up to follow that SCV instead of putting them on the refinery. So, yes, there's only one harvester there. I am going for the first marine and the oral command. I'm going to get the supply depot in the corner, just trying to make sure that there's nothing there. Meanwhile, TLO is going for a second supply depot. Just finished it right now. Orbital Command was late due to that supply depot. I don't agree with that whatsoever. Get this first. The supply can wait. Yeah, this is as far back it goes. I don't know what I was thinking. Barracks is on the way from TLO. I, what do I even call him? I don't feel like calling him TLO. He's not TLO. This is um, the fake guy. So I'm up against the fake guy here, and he is going for a similar build that I am. He is a little bit late on some of the aspects of it. Did it affect his harvester count? It did. He is down to just that 16th coming out right now, whereas I have 17 and 18 will be finished before his, it looks like. And, oh my gosh, no marine is out, just a marauder. I've never seen that. Um... Which makes me to think that this might be TLO, but no, it's definitely not. It's definitely the fake guy. Concussive shells being researched, researched immediately, and he is going for a three wax as well, clumping all the buildings up right in this general area. I don't know what the point of that would be. Nah, I have no idea. But he is going for more Marauders. I, I haven't gotten any Marauders yet. I am going for two Tech Labs at the moment. They're about the same time, too. Um, so he's going for the second refinery. It is pretty early, as you can see. I'm not, I am not getting that. I have plenty of gas still that will go away once I start researching Stimpak and Concussive Shells. But it doesn't look like I have enough minerals to get that right now. So I am not... Oh, there we go. Stim pack is on the way. Engineering Bay is going up in the corner over here because this map has such a large base that I don't feel comfortable just allowing my supply depots to be the only thing that gives me sight on this map. I want to build some of my other structures outside as well. Engineering Bay is perfect for that. Meanwhile, the fake guy just canceled a factory. And look at that steam 
Oh, it's still going. And then it stopped. So definitely not TLO. No. No, 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 no. And he's moving out with four Marauders and two Marines? I... No. No. Don't do that. That is bad. He's got two Marines following in suit, so it looks like he did set this rally point to here. Oh, nope, to this guy. To that guy right there. Don't understand that. He is moving in. He is going to be able to avoid the army here, but I do see him there. So I, I'm not exactly sure what to think, but I don't necessarily think, oh, I need to get a bunker. I'm just like, hey, he's moving in. He can't possibly have an army large enough to take out mine right now. And I didn't see an army that looked like it was big enough to wipe mine out. I'm confident in my build. That is what that build does for me. It gives me the confidence on defense. Meanwhile, I am going for infantry weapons level one. It does look like I finished concussion shells as well. Stimpak is finished just now and he is going for five racks on one base with two gas. I, I don't know what he's going for here. He's just not going to have enough minerals to, so, to uh, apply that right now. Here we go. Battle going down. I did use Stimpak. He did not, and he will die because of it. So I'm instantly taking the Watchtower, and I will be able to spot reinforcements coming in. So I don't want them going to my base. But I do move them out. I don't know if they did that automatically, but I definitely did try to click them that way as well. And now moving back to the Salonhaga Tower and spotting more reinforcements. This should be my clue that I need to go inside his base. He doesn't have anything left, but that is not my clue for that. Um, just kind of just... I think these guys are too weak to handle anything that he's got in his base, especially once I figure out he's got five racks and he can just start pumping out marines very quickly. But meanwhile, I am going for the combat shield upgrade. I am going for my fifth, my fourth and fifth barracks here. This is much later than his, but I am also going for an expansion here. I still have a ton of gas. What am I using that on? I need to be using it on this. Um, I need to get a factory up. There's just too much gas right now. He's staying just out of range of my Zelnaga Tower, but now he moves in and he stops in range of my Zelnaga Tower. So definitely, definitely this is a fake guy right here. Because I would assume TLO knows better than to stop his army within range of the Zelnaga Tower that he knows I have. It's just, just not that smart. And I, sc I can still see him there, so I'm kind of worried about him moving in. So yes, I, I pop the tower, spin him up. The stim is way too late here, so I'm going to be able to wipe that out easily. Wiping out reinforcements as they come. And what's this? That's it? That is it. He started mining from the other, from the other base here. I don't know why. Um, he is oversaturated here. Uh, he was, at least. So I understand that, but really he needs he needs an expansion here. I have an expansion. I just don't get it. So yes, uh, Liquid TLO, definitely not him. That is a fake guy. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, and I was playing this game when I first saw him. I, I was a little nervous, but eh, I, that quickly faded away once I realized that he wasn't going to be able to do anything to me. My APM, ah, 30, wow, it dropped down, usually it's a little bit higher than that, and my minerals and gas show it, this was the first game I played that day, and I wasn't that in, uh, that good at getting the, the mid-game going, and this, you know, 11 minutes, this is definitely still mid-game. I need factories, I need, um, another engineering bay, I need an armory, I need a starport, none of that is up right now. I do have an expansion, but definitely need to start using those right there. So that was the game. Liquid, t nice to meet you, TLO. I am very disappointed. Hope you guys enjoyed the game, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.